Hi train friends, welcome to the Ozark Middle and Southern Railway. I'm glad you're here. In this video, I'm embarking on the creation of a new scene on the railroad. It is going to be a scene of a memorial park set on a bluff overlooking the, an ominous mainline. On the layout, it will reside on one of the table's uh, remaining unseen corners. I was prompted to, uh, to consider building this uh, scene following the passing of a good friend and retired Marine. I always referred to him as my Marine buddy. There is a lot I could say about, about him, but I, I will leave it that he was simply my friend. One of the uh, reasons that I want to uh, remember him on the Ole S is because although he was not a model railroader, he more than once help, helped me with projects on the, my former Oak Age Railroad. Matter of fact, you may have seen in one of my uh, previous videos a wooden freestanding shelving unit designed specifically to store some of the railroad's rolling stock. We built the unit together and I'm very proud of it. Well, the Memorial Park will be named for him. In part one of the video's uh, series, uh, I show how I have gone about building a foam base or a, a foundation for the, uh, the scene. I do not narrate the process, but uh, rather show its construction from beginning to end, from the ground up, so to speak. I have also sped up the video to help move it along in hopes that uh, you will take the time to watch the process from beginning to end. There are certainly other ways to go about creating a foundation for the scene, but the method of, uh, of working with the foam seems to work well for me. Working with the foam is, I will say, pretty messy, but it only requires a few basic tools, some construction ad adhesive, and it does create a very uh, sound, solid foundation for the future work. If you have any questions about the process, uh, by all means, ask them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. If you uh, want to uh, add some uh, scenery to a portion of your uh, railroad, I am uh, hoping the videos in this series will encourage you uh, to give it the, the process or something similar to it a, uh, a try. In closing, uh, here is a photo that I took while traveling through the Ozarks. Uh, that is serving as inspiration for the scene. I am hoping also that as the series progresses, you will see a scenic element or two uh, that uh, uh, in the model that um, are recognizable in the photo. Only time will tell. So let me show you what I've done.
Well, train friends, as this video comes to an end, I want to again thank all of those who subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed watching this project's beginning, I want to encourage you to stay tuned for part two. In part two, I will use cellu clay and plaster of Paris to work in the terrain details. So until we meet again on the Oldman S, please take care and remember the old M&S is pulling for you. This is Bill B. Bye now.